What's up, ladies and gentlemen, if it's you, I'm Prasanna. Today I shall be making this video about Tom Clancy's The Division, which is in beta as, in, as of uh, currently. And uh, this has been one of the most anticipated games in like the last three years. It, it's faced a lot of criticism for its graphics and gameplay in the last couple of months, saying that it did not look as great as it did in the E3. Um, I'm running on a somewhat weaker computer. Uh, I do have a good processor in lots of RAM. I have i7 4790K and 16 gigs of RAM, but uh, my graphics card is a mere NVIDIA 660Ti. Um, and I'm currently running this game on the default medium settings. And I gotta say that the game runs absolutely fine. Uh, it's very optimized in my opinion because there is absolutely no stutter anywhere. Uh, the game is very smooth. Um, uh, on medium settings, I get an average frame rate of around uh, 40, 40 to 45 frames. Um, but I have to say that uh, it's one of the smoothest playing 40 frame rate games ever. Um, it's very optimized. And um, uh, I gotta say that uh, uh, between low and ultra, I did not uh, notice uh, leaps. Uh, and the uh, graphical difference because um, let me just show it to you guys right now currently I'm on, I'm on medium I'm gonna go ahead and put the graphics on ultra though my frame rate would go to shit right now it's around 17 frame rate uh, during indoors and indoor combat, uh, the frame rate is higher than this. Usually, uh, I get around 20, 25, even during combat. Uh, combat doesn't exactly reduce frame rate. Um, only when you're outside, the frames actually matter a lot. Since there are a lot of elements, uh, and I'm outside, uh, this the ultra graphic settings are taking a toll on my computer, on my graphics card. Um, as you can see, the game looks. Good. It's, it looks good, but not miles ahead in front of, I mean, uh, compared to low graphic settings. I'm going to go ahead and go from ultra to low. While the game is much smoother to play in, the graphics are not all that different. It still feels like um, I'm playing at the near same settings. So it's one of the best looking uh, games on low settings and it runs really smooth. So people on a mediocre computer uh, who, who want to play this game, who are, are thinking they have to play the computer, need not because it runs really well on low settings. It looks really good for low graphic settings. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show a little bit of gunplay. Uh, I usually, I, I actually prefer playing the game on medium because uh, medium was completely playable and uh, actually did, uh, did not notice much of a difference between low and medium either. Considering I did not notice much between low and ultra, obviously medium is not going to be much, much of a difference. Or at least I get a uh, get thought in my mind, I'm like, oh. okay, I'm not playing the game on the lowest of settings, so... <laughs> That kind of helps. Game looks absolutely gorgeous on medium, low, even. Probably the only effects which change on ultra is when you look at a, a, a sunlight or hitting a glass shield and reflecting on the water below or something. Maybe that changes, but when when you're not nitpicking specific areas of the map. Low to ultra doesn't make that that much of an impact. Well, that's about it for um, the performance analysis. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the gunplay. I've uh, noticed that the uh, automatic weapons fire really well. The gameplay is actually very good uh, when firing these weapons. Um, you guys who are watching the video might not be able to tell much. But uh, when I'm in the middle of a combat, uh, 
the combat is much better than what I anticipated, you know, especially after what I read on the forums saying that the gameplay was absolute trash. Uh, I have to disagree, disagree on that uh, front because the combat is fine. Also, uh, because the game is advertised as an RPG and not a third person shooter. As you can as you can see, maybe this part makes some difference when I uh, go from medium to ultra. Or not. I'm on ultra settings right now. Okay, there's better lighting here, which I'm seeing on ultra settings, but definitely not the uh, not worth the frame rate impact. So I'm gonna go back and put it back to medium. One more thing I have to notice uh, is that um, VSync kind of doesn't affect the frame rate whatsoever. Having it on or off kind of makes no difference in frame rate. I've tested it. Um, it gives me the exact frame, uh, exact same frame rate. Uh, I kind of prefer playing with VSync on because I did not notice any input lag whatsoever and uh, having VSync on gave it a much smoother feel. And this is medium settings, guys. I gotta say that uh, these automatic guns, though they feel really good to shoot, uh, these uh, pistols and shotguns which fire in bursts, they are no fun to shoot. They give you no recoil feedback. These are so boring to shoot guys. These are very very boring. Whereas the SMG and the LMG and stuff which have like loads of recoil, they are actually fun to shoot. Now I'm shooting at like closer objects, so probably you're not noticing it much. Um, let me hit the no right here. Recall is nice actually. I'm controlling it to a slight extent. So, well, that's about it, guys. Uh, I just wanted to make your proper, make a performance review about this game. People running low on graphics cards do not need to worry um, as long as. It's above a 750 Ti, they can still uh, play the game. I'm going to show a little bit of gunplay before I close the video. One awkward thing about this game is that uh, this game is based on reality, so. Um, shooting a person like 15, 20 times in the body doesn't make sense, but uh, when you look past that aspect of the game, it's all good. Dispatch, this is Division Agent Fei Lao, empowered and authorized by Executive Order and DHS Directive 15. Well, guys, I'll wrap up this video. I pretty much said whatever I needed to say. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, well, see you all.